Good evening. The Delano City Council held a special meeting tonight to discuss how to further enforce the current stay at home order. That enforcement would have to come in the form of a fine, but the council never got the chance to vote on the item. 23 ABC's Leslie Gooden attended the meeting and explains that some people are worried about the future of businesses in the city, while others think it might be the route to go. The Delano City Council was set to vote on whether or not to find businesses and households who are not following the stay at home order. Now, due to technical difficulties, that vote has been postponed. Now, despite the delay, residents and businesses say that decision is still heavy on their minds. Against it, totally. They need to let us open up 25%. I get the social distance, but you got to let us operate. We got to be able to pay our rent. Larry Ronk has lived in Delano his entire life and his family has owned LR's Pizza for nearly three decades. He says since the pandemic, he's lost almost $200,000 and has remained open because he doesn't feel he has a choice and does not agree with the new possible Delano ordinance that would fine businesses and households for not following the current stay at home order. We're all trying to just pay our bills. We, we went into the business thinking we can make a living and pay our bills and they're they're taking away giving us a chance but all the big companies which home depot they're they're on top of each other they don't do six feet they're on top of each other and everything they don't monitor them there's people overlapping the delano city council was set to hear public comments and vote on the new ordinance enforcement thursday night limiting outdoor gatherings to 10 people from different households and enforcing state orders for businesses if it's not followed a warning would be issued first then a hundred two hundred or five hundred dollar fine for each violation which some people think fines may work but those amounts are too much maybe but for some businesses that are just doing their best to keep their money up and keep their business intact. I think that they should be fine a little bit, but not that much for some what other people are doing. During the special meeting, many residents could not get into the Zoom conference, so they decided to postpone. The meeting is expected to resume next week, and some residents say they hope the enforcement ordinance passes. I think that's a good idea. Uh, be, people should be staying at home and shouldn't be throwing parties. Um, COVID is a real thing. I, I've experienced COVID myself but I never broke the rules. I just, you know, go to work because I'm an essential worker um, and that's it. But I, somehow I still got COVID. But so I definitely think people should get fined because it's not being stopped. Uh, people are not listening to, you know, what the government's telling us to do. I think it would be a, a good idea to do. So if that's, if that's what it takes to them to listen, to understand. So again, you still have time to attend this meeting that is scheduled for next week. And the council says they will be sure to notify the public through social media and online. In Delano, Leslie Gooden, 23BC News, connecting you.